Ghostbusters. is often stranger than fiction. And I think we can prove it in tonight's authentic gangbusters case. This is a true account of how a woman led a gang through a series of crimes, including murder, all because of a red dress. This red dress. Oh, vous avez un très bon goût, mademoiselle. It's a beautiful dress. <laughs> May I ask, what size are you? Uh, what size is this dress? This is a 12. Oh, well, that's perfect for me. That's my size. Well, you wish to try it on? Oh, if you like it so much, why don't you buy it? Well, if you wish, I'll take it from the mannequin and we'll put it on. I really must think about it. Thank you. I'll be back later. As you wish, mademoiselle. It's about time you picked up Crane. California's San Quentin prison. Behind these walls, 4,700 criminals are paying their debt to society. This is William Harlan Crane, occupation robber, gunman, serving five years for armed robbery. With 12 hours left, Crane is smugly patient, awaiting his release. While Crane was receiving a new suit and a $10 bill, his girlfriend, Juanita, was admitted to the penitentiary and waited just outside the chapel wall. Craig! Now, wait a minute. What's the matter? Where do you live? I'll uh, give you a call sometime. Come on, I'll show you. Uh-uh. But you've got to. I got a surprise for you. Like what? Well, I can't tell you. I've been planning it five years. Look, baby, there's still plenty hanging over my head. I'm not taking any chances. But I've been waiting. So? You've got to come. Oh, I bought it for you. Yeah? Yeah. Carpeting, indirect lighting. Where'd you get the dough? Well, in five years, I haven't had a date. I haven't gone anywhere. I've sold and made everything. Yeah? Then a month ago, I rented it for you. Open it. My present to you. Wow. All loaded. closet door. But Open it. We could have mowed you down, Crane. <laughs> Shaky. Oh, the boy. How are you, boy? Good to see you. Come on, Crane. Boy, you look great. <laughs> Say, you must wait. Well, hell, I've gained a well, little here. Well, it's like long time. We missed you, boy. We yeah. missed you. Yeah, how was things up at Stir? Well, fine. Everything all was fine here. All the same guys up there. You know how it is. We've been all the same yeah. Come on, boys, come and get it. A champagne dinner. Well, we're waiting for this, huh? Wait a minute. 
But the real McCoy stopped here. <laughs> yeah. Class, huh? Yeah, candles and everything. Now, what do you say we drink to Juanita? Good idea. And five years of waiting. I guess. Ah. And to the three of you, back together again. Because I knew that's the way Crane would want it. It's to you, baby. Some hideout. Wow. Yes. We got dry champagne. Hey, now for the surprise. Job <laughs> look. I made the cover myself. Yeah? And look, let me show you. A little knob on the side, a short wave. Car 47, investigate drunk causing disturbance, corner of Fresno and Shelby Street. <laughs> There's going to be a new deal, boys. What new deal? Like what? Like this time you're all doing what I say. Huh? I'm boss. Oh, no. Oh, no. No woman's telling me what to do. I've been in this game too long. Oh. And you ended up in San Quentin, Shaky. And Crane? Now, wait a minute. I've been waiting five years for you. I'm young. I've got a right to live and be happy, have money, clothes, attention. I haven't gone places. I've been waiting for you to get out. Well, now that you're out, I want to keep you out. I want the things I've been dreaming of. You've all tried your ways, every one of you. Yeah, and the cops got you and put you behind bars. Well, not this time, because I got every detail planned. Look around you. I'm supplying the hideout, the guns, the dough. Who could have done better, huh? We'll have everything, but no jails. Maybe she's got something. Okay. Yeah. Maybe she has. Shoot. All cars signal 30. Car driving north on Main Boulevard. Three men with girl at wheel. Authority CDKM 251. 7.22 p.m. All cars signal 30. White corners, getaway car, black sedan, driven by girl in dungarees. Authority CDKM 251, 7.38 p.m. All cars, black sedan fleeing south into block seven. Block all roads in accordance with plan seven. Authority CDKM 251, 8.30 p.m. We lost them all right. Cars, abandon roadblock and report to headquarters. Authority of Acting Captain of Detectives, KEM 251, 9.30 p.m. We're going again tonight. They won't expect it so soon. All those reports, car driven by a girl. Yeah. She's getting too cocky. I can take women just so long. Come on in. I'll tell you all about it. So? Just a second. That bank should be loaded. We're not taking the bank. What? No. I've had my eye on a dress shop down the street. A what? You're out of your head. Listen! It's been months now. 
I haven't even got a decent dress to wear. Well, then buy one. No! Not one of us will touch a penny of that money until we lay off and the heat cools. But why that crummy joint? Because there's a red dress there. I love it. It's my size, and I've got to have it. We risk our necks for a little red dress? <laughs> oh, no, not me. Listen, kid, you're way off base. Can't I make myself look pretty? I just want to look nice for you. That red dress it would go so well with my hair. I gotta have it, Crane. That one. Okay. Oh, Crane, thank you. This is gone. That's where it was. Well, maybe it's in the back room. Find that red dress. Oh, listen. Forget it. I'm sick of it, too. Hey, what's that? What? A light in the back part of the store. Cut the lights. <laughs> So sew it up. It's all I wanted, this red dress. I wanted to look pretty. Doesn't it mean anything to any of you? Oh, great! All cars, signal 30. Watchman for dress shop, just held up. Dead from gunshot wounds. Black sedan was observed, with girl at wheel, parked directly across from the dress shop. Three men, seen running from the shop, entered car, and drove from scene in great hurry. Stop all cars containing three men and a girl. Stay on it. I'm going to take the kid for a ride. Well, now what? Snap out of it, kid. Well, I'm not taking any more to wrap. Well, Crane shot too quick. I could have just knocked him out with that flat iron. I thought we might go out for a while. Maybe down to the beach. There's music and things going on. I haven't got anything to wear. You always look good to me. Yeah? Sure. Maybe you got something you want to tell me, huh? Maybe. Something romantic? Could be. <laughs> arrived with Juanita at the Carnival Pier. Crane insisted that she walk with him to the end of the pier. There were only a few couples out there. It was quiet, peaceful. The water's pretty, but it's so black, sometimes it scares me. Yeah. The stars are pretty, though. Sure. Pretty soon we'll go away, huh? Where nobody will know us, and we'll be safe and live. Why not? I guess everything's beautiful when you love somebody. 
realize this is the first time we've been together since you got out? Forget I was ever in. I didn't mean it that way. I just saw the other couples making love. Stand close. What is it? What's what? The something you wanted to say. When I got something to say, I'll say it. Okay. What was that? The gun I bumped the old guy off with. Is that why you put your arm around me? So nobody would see you drop it? Sure. Let's go. going out on a job. You're not going. We won't be back till late. Don't leave the house. Get it? Yeah. It, doctor what's the matter with me I can't eat I can't sleep I've got pains down my left arm my left leg feels like needles all over my body young lady I know you want the truth or you wouldn't have come your whole nervous system you're you're burnt up what do I do you must lead a well a pretty unusual life I'm going to give you some tablets for your nerves You've got to have some rest, then things will look better to you. Yes, if I can just get some rest. Well, one of these will put you fast to sleep. Don't take more than one at a time. I'm giving you five extra ones. But don't use them unless you absolutely have to. And under no conditions, take more than one at a time. Thank you, Doctor. Thank you. you been? The doctor. I told you not to leave. I thought I was going to die. I had to go. What did he say? Said it was my nerves. Serious. Give you something? Yeah. All cars well, let's see. By for approximate address where may be found. The cops are on to us. They're closing in. Stay here. Proceed according to plan nine. Block all highways and roads leading from the eastern side of the city. These men are killers. Proceed with caution. All cars receding last message. I can't take any more of it! Line. Shut up! Get control of yourself! Announcement. Stand by for important announcement. KM251. Just one meter. All cars regarding last message. Fingerprints at scene left on flat iron show that two of the killers in black sedan wanted in connection with signal 30 at dress shop are William Harlan Crane and Shaky Deister, both ex-convicts of San Quentin. They're closing in, closing in all the time. We gotta get out of here. But we're not taking her. And all for a red dress. I should have sunk her where I put the gun, little punk. All cars? Call dispatcher by landline for approximate address where killers may be found. KEM 251. Get the stuff. I'll be right back. All cars repeating last message. Call dispatcher by landline and stand by for important announcement. 
KEM251. I saw your pill box. Empty. Oh, well, the doctor said that if I was very nervous to take them. All of them at once? Proceed according to Plan 9. Block all highways and roads leading from the eastern side of the city. Authority CDKEM. That's some secret code. We're going to raid. We're like rats in a trap. I Shaggy. think I know how to help you boys. We've had enough of you. If it hadn't been for that red dress, we'd be okay. He said it. Listen. Listen, all of you. Get in the car and start driving towards San Fernando. Fifteen minutes after you've gone, I'll call the cops. I'll tell them there's been a double killing on the other side of town. I'll describe you. Mm-hmm. What you willing to do that for? You stay here, you'll get caught. I haven't got a record. Yeah. Maybe it would work. Well, that's the best idea we got, but... How come you willing to take that chance, Juanita? You're a friend of mine, aren't you, Shaky? Sure, sure. And Crane's my man, aren't you, Crane? Sure, sure. Then why shouldn't I do it for you? Come on, Shaky, we gotta get going. Bunch! In ten minutes, I'll call the cops. Hey, you ain't getting sleepy, are you? No, I'm not getting sleepy, Crane. Okay, honey. I'll see you. Good luck. You... You wanna kiss me goodbye before you go? Ain't none of that stuff now. Time's too short. Oh. I'll be seeing you, Juanita. Time's too short. Yeah. I'll be seeing you. south into block seven. Block all roads according to plan seven. Authority, CDKEM. Phone call. Number please. Number please. Your receiver is off the hook. Your receiver is off the hook. Is anything wrong? She's dead. Yes, something was wrong. Very wrong. Her blind love for the wrong man led this girl into a life of crime that ended with her own death. Now, gangbusters will broadcast a clue of a criminal still at large and wanted by the police. Attention, attention to all citizens and police. Warning, kidnapper at large, Theodore Cole, 43, five feet, seven inches, 135 pounds, blue eyes, scar, corner, right eye, Scar, middle right cheek. Scar, under lower lip. Scar, under chin. Theodore Cole, serving 50-year sentence for kidnapping, escaped from Alcatraz and is now at large. Watch for escaped kidnapper Theodore Cole, 43, 5'7", slender build, 
blue eyes. Repeat, Theodore Cole wanted for kidnapping. Approach with caution, may be armed. If you have any information concerning this clue, notify your local police, the FBI, or gangbusters at once. The next gangbusters case is also an authentic one taken from police files. And on behalf of the police, we invite you to join us. Gangbusters, created by Phillips H. Lord. you have heard tonight was based upon police records, court records, and personal interviews. 